Hi everyone, today we're reviewing Ghost in the Barn House. If you like this video, please subscribe. Also, comment on what you want me to review next. Remember to check out HorrorReview.com, it's a review group that I'm a part of. We post almost new stuff every day, I left a link in the description below. Ghost in the Barn House was published and developed by Anamaki Majumardar. Yeah, I can't pronounce it. The developer has a serious issue with creating games that are just way too similar to each other. This game is no exception. I bought a bunch of games in the pack on Steam, and for the most part, I've been pretty disappointed. There's almost no difference between any of the games that I purchased, except for somewhat minor tweaks to the story. And I will stretch the word somewhat. Ghost in the Barn House is a 2D survival horror game based on the story of an old haunted barn which was built in the 1800s in Texas. Sound familiar to some of the previous games I reviewed? That's because it basically is the same game with just slightly altered stories, as I've said previously. There's no variation in how we get through doors, you run over a key and boom, you're in the next section. Maybe the developer could have added such some sort of variation to the game, such as like a doll instead of a key, or maybe just something totally different in general. It would have been nice to see some puzzles in the game as well. I also completed this game for, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes. It took me way too fast for my taste. However, that's what I get for paying only a dollar for a game, I guess. Can't really complain about the length. Don't expect AAA graphics out of this game, and I really didn't either. It's very 2D, but the developer has actually done an okay job if we're comparing this to a new developer who's trying to make game resemble something from the, let's say, Atari era. Overall, I cannot recommend this game, just, just not at all. Not in its current state, not ever, more than likely. And it's kind of a shame, because some of the games that this guy makes... Um, they, they appear to be quite interesting, but when it's the same gameplay over and over again, it really distracts me from anything else. There was one good game, I encourage you to check it out. Um, I'll put a link in the description below for that game, and I'll probably put it in the, on the end screen credits. But overall, I'm going to have to score this game probably a 1 out of 5 and tell you to stay clear of it. But as always, I really appreciate you watching. Remember to subscribe.